He's rolling. They hating. They trying to catch him riding dirty in a golf cart. So the following news comes from villages-news.com. And the story was written and posted by Meta Mitten and it's titled Man with Long Criminal History Arrested in Golf Cart in Villages. So villages-news.com writes and I quote, a village of Polo Ridge couple was surprised to find a drunken man in a golf cart Monday night at the entrance to their driveway. A man who has an extensive criminal history showed up at about 6 p.m. in the couple's driveway on Sandy Lane, according to an arrest report from the Sumter County Sheriff's Office. James Thornton Hedger, 47, of Leesburg, was arrested after a deputy responded to a report of a suspicious person in the area. The deputy spotted Hedger's white golf cart at the entrance to the driveway and noted there was an empty bottle of Canadian mist on the floor of the golf cart. When Hedger was asked to provide identification, he handed the deputy a Florida Department of Corrections identification card. Pause the story right there. In other words, a fucking jail ID. Back to the story. During the course of conducting field sobriety exercises, Hedger told the deputy, quote, I can't do it. He later refused to provide a breath sample. Well, maybe his breath was stinking. Maybe his breath smelled like shit and vomit and alcohol, and that's why. But anyways, a criminal history check revealed Hedger had been convicted of DUI in 2011 in Lake County. In that case, he had been arrested in Fruitland Park. In 2011 and 2012, <laughs> Hedger was arrested on probation violations. In 2012, his probation on battery and the DUI charge was revoked. In 2006, he was arrested on a charge of burglary of a dwelling. He was also accused of battery in that case. Hedger was booked on $1,000 bond at the Sumter County Detention Center. End quote. Wow. Now that's that thug life. I mean, when <laughs> the ID that you have on you is a fucking jail ID, you know you're a beastie BT-1000 Snow King. Now this is the type of guy that I can imagine Toast hanging out with. You know the guy who makes the videos about hair hats and beasties that would never make a video like this about this guy right here. He wouldn't think that that was important news. People like him, you know, burglarizing places or whatever and being, you know, drunk driving around in a fucking golf cart and being, you know, outside of people's houses and them having to call the police and have it picked up and having a jail ID and whatnot, you know, I guess, you know, he has the complexion for protection, so he could probably still get a good job. He could probably just, just go become an electrician or something. I don't know, a maintenance guy, whatever, make 15 bucks an hour, decent job or whatever. You know, he may not be rich, but he can still make what's called a living wage. I think it's like about $13 an hour right now in America, which is considered to be like the living wage or whatever. But anyway, my whole point is this, though. <laughs> You know, somebody like this guy right here is obviously a danger to society. If any of this information is true, he sounds like a very volatile person. I mean, from battery charges to DUIs and just all sorts of shit. He's not the type of person I would ever want to have as my neighbor. And he's definitely not the type of person I would ever want to allow in my home. But that's just me. Maybe you're like toast and you like people like this just because he's wine. Hate to bring race into it, but... People make so many racially motivated news stories and they blame everything on so-called black people. I mean, you can look at the comment sections on YouTube, Yahoo, TMZ, other places where racists just run fucking rampant. I mean, the Klan is out there on the Internet. I mean, they need to be out in the streets so they can do something stupid and get themselves arrested because that's what they're good for. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more.